comet, asteroid, or something else. Uh, now, it will actually get closest to the sun on October 2025, and that's when the Earth would be on the opposite side. And that allows this object to come very close uh, to the inner planets. For example, it will come close to Mars, Venus, and Jupiter. After months of mystery, the arrival date of the interstellar visitor 3i Atlas has finally been revealed. But this is no ordinary comet. Its glowing green halo and alien chemistry could change everything we know about the cosmos. Within weeks, 3i Atlas discovery turned into a riddle. During the September 7th lunar eclipse, observers across the world noticed something impossible. The comet, once faint and bluish, suddenly lit up with a brilliant green glow. Now here's the shocking part. Green comets are not unheard of. Usually, the color comes from dicarbon molecules, C2, which emit green light when excited by sunlight. But when scientists ran the analysis, they were stunned. No C2, no swan bands, nothing that could explain the color. Before we continue with this discovery, please subscribe and like the video. It helps the algorithm reach more people who are fascinated by space discoveries. Stay tuned, because in this video, we're revealing the arrival date of 3i Atlas. So now the question echoed everywhere. What exactly is making 3i Atlas glow green? What if the green glow of 3i Atlas is not natural at all? That's the thought that kept many scientists awake after the eclipse, because the data made no sense. No carbon chains, no common gases, no known emission lines, yet the comet was shining like an emerald lantern in space. Astronomers rushed to compare it with past visitors. Oumuamua, the first interstellar object, was mysterious but colorless. Borisov II looked like a normal comet. But 3i Atlas was different. It was behaving in ways no comet in our solar system ever had. So three big theories emerged. First, the glow could be from an unknown molecule, something formed only in the extreme cold of interstellar space. Second, the glow might be caused by exotic interactions with solar radiation, creating effects we've never recorded before. And third, and the most controversial, an artificial signature, perhaps the trace of alien technology disguised as a comet. For now, the safe bet is exotic chemistry. But scientists admit, we don't know. And the clock is ticking. 3i Atlas is racing past Mars. Incredibly, that's a lucky break for us. Because right now, three different spacecraft orbit Mars. NASA's MAVEN, India's Mangalyan-2, and ESA's Trace Gas Orbiter. All of them have the tools to study the strange light. Think about it. We are not just watching this mystery from Earth. For the first time in history, we have orbiters near another planet that can observe an interstellar visitor up close. Every day matters. Every spectrum recorded could reveal whether this glow is chemical, cosmic, or something entirely unexpected. And here's the suspense. If we miss it now, we may never know. Once 3i Atlas leaves the inner solar system, it will be gone forever, carrying its green secret back into the void. When the first spectra from Mars orbiters arrived, scientists were stunned. The Maven spacecraft detected faint traces of oxygen and nitrogen fragments around 3i Atlas. But here's the twist. The fragments didn't match normal comet chemistry. Instead, they hinted at complex organics breaking apart under sunlight. That means the green glow might not come from a single molecule at all. It could be the byproduct of larger alien compounds disintegrating in the comet's coma. Now imagine what that implies. 3. I Atlas could be carrying chemistry older than our solar system, molecules forged in the dust clouds of another star, drifting through interstellar space for millions, maybe billions, of years before entering our skies. NASA quickly launched what they called an emergency campaign. Ground-based telescopes, Hubble, and even the James Webb Space Telescope were ordered to observe 3i Atlas as often as possible. Webb's infrared eyes in particular could detect hidden ices and exotic molecules that Earth-based observatories might miss, but the comet wasn't making it easy. Unlike most comets, 3i Atlas showed almost no tail, just a tight glowing coma, like a lantern with no smoke. That puzzled astronomers even more. Normally, sunlight heats a comet's surface, blasting gas and dust outward. But here, the outflow seemed restrained, almost controlled. So the question grew louder. Is this just unusual chemistry or something else? Every image, every spectrum raised more questions than answers. Scientists compared notes and argued fiercely. Some believed the comet might reveal new physics of interstellar matter. 
Others whispered about the unthinkable, that its glow might be a signal, not a symptom. Meanwhile, the world watched. Social media exploded with conspiracy theories, UFO claims, and doomsday predictions. But beneath the noise, astronomers stayed focused on the real puzzle. What alien compounds are hiding inside this green visitor? And what secrets do they carry about life beyond our solar system? For the first time in history, the world's eyes were not just on Mars or Jupiter, but on a wandering visitor from another star. The James Webb Space Telescope turned its golden mirrors toward 3i Atlas. Unlike Earth telescopes, Webb could peer into the infrared, detecting molecular fingerprints invisible to the human eye. The results shocked everyone. Webb detected faint but clear signs of complex organic molecules, long carbon chains and nitrogen-bearing compounds. These were the building blocks of life as we know it. But here's the chilling part. Their exact structure didn't match any molecules cataloged on Earth. That meant only one thing. 3i Atlas was carrying organics that had formed in another star system, in alien conditions. For astrobiologists, this was breathtaking. If such molecules can survive interstellar travel, then maybe seeds of life can leap between stars. Still, the mystery of the green glow refused to die. Because Webb's data showed something even stranger. The organic molecules alone could not explain the intensity of the light. Something else, still unidentified, was amplifying the glow. As the comet raced onward, the pressure grew. Scientists had only weeks left to gather enough data. Every night, telescopes tuned in. Every spectrum mattered, and one haunting question remained on everyone's mind. Is 3i Atlas just an alien rock with exotic chemistry, or could it be carrying something far more deliberate? October 3rd, 2025, the day 3i Atlas swept closest to Mars. The orbiters were ready. Every instrument, from cameras to spectrometers, was calibrated to capture this fleeting visitor. Engineers held their breath as MAVEN, Mangalyaan-2, and ESA's Trace Gas Orbiter tracked the comet's path. As 3i Atlas approached, the first images revealed a dense, emerald halo surrounding a nucleus that remained stubbornly hidden. The glow was so intense it saturated detectors, forcing teams to quickly adjust exposure times. Spectrometers fired in rapid succession. The results were thrilling and puzzling. Carbon dioxide dominated the coma, confirming earlier suspicions. Cyanogen and carbonyl sulfide were present, but in patterns unlike anything seen in solar system comets. Then came the surprise. Nickel-rich atomic lines showed up clearly, while iron, usually abundant in comets, was nearly absent. This confirmed what Earth-based observations had hinted at, 3i Atlas was chemically alien. Thermal measurements suggested the nucleus was compact and dense, possibly under 5 kilometers across, hidden beneath a thick shroud of volatile gases. Despite its small size, the comet's glow was amplified by its unusual chemical mix. Engineers worked around the clock. Data pipelines transferred terabytes of information to Earth in near real time. Each team analyzed spectra, images, and polarimetric data to create a 3D model of the coma and tail structure. And yet, mysteries remained. The green glow still defied explanation. It could not be fully attributed to known molecules, ice sublimation, or solar radiation effects. Even Mars-based instruments, closer than any telescope ever could be, couldn't resolve its origin. Scientists knew one thing for certain, every second counted. Once 3i Atlas passed Mars, its rapid speed toward the inner solar system meant Earth-based instruments would face challenges again, and the opportunity to collect high-resolution close-up data would diminish rapidly. The world watched in awe as the comet, a messenger from another star, raced past our neighboring planet, carrying secrets billions of years old, chemical signatures never seen, and a glow that seemed to hint at something beyond human understanding. October 29th, 2025, Perihelion, 3i Atlas, hurtled closest to the Sun. This was the moment astronomers had feared and anticipated. Hubble and James Webb, Earth's most powerful telescopes, could not risk pointing near the Sun due to strict exclusion zones. Any miscalculation could permanently damage these priceless instruments. That left Mars orbiters as humanity's only eyes on the comet during Perihelion. MAVEN, Mangalyaan-2, and ESA's TGO were now critical for capturing data Earth could not. Engineers adjusted schedules, recalibrated instruments, and coordinated observations knowing every second was precious. As 3i Atlas approached the Sun, its glow intensified. The green halo expanded, but still no tail appeared. 
Polarimetric measurements revealed extreme negative polarization, a record-breaking signal suggesting highly unusual dust grains in the coma. Spectroscopic scans confirmed earlier findings. Carbon dioxide dominated, with cyanogen, carbonyl sulfide, and trace organics mixed in strange ratios. Nickel-rich atomic lines persisted, while iron remained almost entirely absent. The composition reinforced what scientists had suspected. This was not a comet born in our solar system. Teams raced to decode the data. Every spectrum, every thermal reading, every polarimetric curve was analyzed to determine the structure, density, and chemical behavior of the comet. Simulations suggested the nucleus was small, but dense and compact, wrapped in a volatile-rich envelope that sublimated unusually close to the sun. The pressure was immense, time was slipping away. Once the comet moved past perihelion, Mars orbiters would soon lose their line of sight, and Earth-based telescopes would face another gap. Every measurement mattered. One missed signal could mean a lost clue to interstellar chemistry. Despite the intensity of the observations, one mystery persisted. The source of the green glow. Not a single known molecule could fully explain the luminosity. Some whispered about unknown chemical reactions in extreme cold, while others speculated on something far stranger. For the scientific community, one truth stood out. 3i Atlas was a messenger from another star, revealing chemistry and conditions billions of years older than our sun, and humanity had only a brief window to decipher its secrets before it vanished forever into the void. As 3i Atlas began its exit from the inner solar system, the world's attention did not fade. Even after perihelion, Mars orbiters continued sending data. Images showed the comet moving away, its emerald glow slowly dimming, yet still visible. Scientists studied every photon, every spectrum, trying to extract the secrets hidden within the fading coma. The mysteries persisted. What caused the intense green color? Why did the nickel to iron ratio deviate so strongly from known norms? And could there be more unknown molecules hiding in the coma, undetectable even by Webb's infrared instruments? Meanwhile, the public fascination turned global. Social media exploded with images from backyard telescopes. Videos and time lapses of the comet flying past Mars went viral. Citizen astronomers were celebrated for capturing the first hints of the glow, and forums buzzed with theories ranging from natural chemistry to deliberate extraterrestrial design. The comet's fleeting presence inspired more than curiosity. It changed the way astronomers thought about interstellar objects. Survey teams at the Vera Rubin Observatory and PanSTARRS began refining their real-time detection algorithms, ensuring that the next visitor could be identified immediately. NASA and international partners started planning rapid response missions. Concepts included small intercepting probes, solar sail flyers, and modular observation platforms, designed to chase interstellar visitors at short notice. The era of chance discoveries was giving way to strategic strategic proactive science, ensuring that humanity would never again miss a cosmic messenger from another star. The legacy of 3i Atlas was clear. It had shattered old assumptions about comet chemistry, polarization, and interstellar travel. It revealed that planetary systems far older than the Sun could produce exotic molecules and dust grains completely alien to our understanding. And as 3i Atlas vanished into the darkness, it left behind a profound message. The universe is full of surprises, and every new interstellar object carries clues to the cosmic history beyond our solar system. For astronomers, engineers, and curious minds alike, the green glow of 3i Atlas was not just a comet, it was a reminder that the stars have stories to tell, if we are ready to listen. 3i Atlas, the comet that changed everything. In just a few months, this emerald visitor captivated the world. From its hyperbolic orbit to its green glow unexplained by dicarbon, every observation challenged what scientists thought they knew. Its nickel-rich, iron-poor composition, overwhelming carbon dioxide and exotic molecules told a story billions of years old, from a star system far beyond our own. Amateur astronomers were the first to notice its glow. Their backyard telescopes captured images that professionals confirmed later with Mars orbiters and spectrometers. This collaboration between citizens and scientists highlighted a new era of astronomy, one where discovery is global and immediate. Despite record-breaking observations, one question remained. What exactly caused that green glow? No known chemical or physical process could fully explain it. The mystery deepened as the comet passed perihelion, forcing scientists to rethink cometary physics, interstellar chemistry, and planetary formation models. 
The legacy of 3i Atlas goes beyond chemistry. It changed how we search for interstellar objects. New strategies now focus on real-time detection, rapid response missions, and global coordination, ensuring that future visitors are studied up close before they disappear forever. And yet, the comet left us with something more profound than data, a reminder of the unknown. In its fleeting journey, it carried secrets from a time and place billions of years older than our sun, offering a glimpse into the diversity of planetary systems across the galaxy. As it drifts back into interstellar space, 3i Atlas disappears from our view, but not from our imagination. Scientists continue to analyze the terabytes of data, theorists revisit their models, and enthusiasts track its faint path in the sky. The final question lingers, echoing in observatories and forums alike. Was 3i Atlas just a comet or a messenger from the stars, a cosmic enigma sent to challenge our understanding of the universe? For now, the answer remains out there. Somewhere beyond the planets, in the cold, ancient reaches of interstellar space, do you think 3i Atlas was just a mysterious comet, or could it have been a message from another star system? If you're fascinated by interstellar mysteries like this, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share your thoughts in the comments. We want to hear your theories about what 3i Atlas really was, 